Kailapa Hawaiian Homestead resident Michelle Kealoha got a rude awakening on Saturday morning. And so I was in the garage, my garage here, and I, as I went to walk in the house, I saw the twister coming. I didn't have time, so all I could do was bend down on the ground. It actually flipped me backwards several times. That's how strong it was. Windy weather is not unusual for this area of the Big Island where swirling winds are known to conjure up dust devils, but this sort of weather damage is rare here in Kauai Hai. On a larger scale, on a larger scale, and you could see debris in, in the in the tunnel. Two roofs blown off different structures, boats blown into roadways, and one home under construction collapsed during Saturday morning's gusts. Now we see that there was two twisters, so they actually both met up here. I just heard this hor horrible noise, and when I looked over, I saw this house's roof just, just lift up and it exploded. It hit the, the distributor from the uh, electric pole and it was three big f bursts of fire. Residents are blaming a series of twisters that barreled through the neighborhood. You no, know, they have a name for it, Pu'umomoko. That's a quite high wind. At midday on Saturday, family and friends were working on this now roofless home on Kailapa Street. Insulation covered the ground like snow. The moment was captured on video. The roof can be seen blowing into power lines. We, the helpful person was responding to a home up the street where their roof came off at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so he was coming down and he stopped there because he saw a twister forming and he actually caught it on video. Kealoha credits an old keave tree for preventing further damage. It, it, that's where that roof ended up. It kind of wrapped itself and locked it. It locked around the tree, thank goodness, because, you know, there's more homes there. And luckily it, it stopped it from, you know, damaging anything. Or a lot of times we've seen um, trampolines all go all the way down to the highway and fly in front of cars. So we're, we're very thankful that it landed in the tree there. It actually damaged my car. It picked up this huge piece of wood and threw it over my fence and came into my garage and hit the car. I mean, that's how it picked up tires and rims. It, it was pretty strong, pretty strong. I mean, like I said, we see them, but they usually go where, you know, where there's no homes out in the water. You see them a lot, a lot of uh, twisters on the water. But um, this one was unusual because we had two come and meet up together here and then took her, her whole roof off. As the day grew longer, the winds once again began to pick up. On Pu'ukamali'i Place, Walter Parker worked to secure his garage, which also lost a roof. There were four tornadoes that came through from Malka, and then they just went straight through. This one was the one that was the closest, the southmost uh, tornado, and when it went through, it took the roof off, and we heard a big bang. We just sat down and made some cup, cup of coffee because it was waking us up. And about 4.20 was when we heard this loud bang and the roof or part of it came down and it flew off and hit our neighbor's roof, knocked her uh, electrical wires, the poles that come up for the service, and it rests against the boat, the front of the boat and the front of the car. Van. Unfortunately for the owner of this collapsed home that was under construction, it's going to be a long road to recovery. News reports say the framing had just been completed. The site was going to be blessed that same day. Residents as well as county fire personnel who responded to the scene say no one was injured. So when the news says that we have high winds of 35, for us we know that means 60. Oh, That's okay. just a normal thing in Kauai Hai for us so we kind of we're used to it we've lived here a long time but um it was still <laughs> nerve-wracking to watch it happen you know usually i'm in the house but i was like right outside so close to it so it was pretty intense system operator 310